How are you all? Mrs. Gibney here in the Phoenix Park with a little taste of Dublin life. I'm standing out here now in front of the Pope's Cross. And I remember being here all them years ago, 1979, the 29th of September. I remember like it was yesterday. I remember Pope John Paul II coming down out of his helicopter and there was about a million of us, over a million of us standing here and we were all singing holy songs and we were saying praise and there was a lovely energy about the place and there was a real camera hattery and I remember him coming down and saying to us all People of Ireland, I love you and I tell you what we loved him too. And do you know what? He was the first Polish man I ever saw. Can you believe that? And now they're everywhere, aren't they? They're everywhere. You can't look around without seeing a Polish person. But they're gorgeous. They're a gorgeous looking race. And they're very hard workers. And we're very lucky to have them here. But back to John Paul, I remember that day now and I remember him going around his little Pope mobile and all the bishops going up that hill, you see. It was like watching river dance, it really was. It was such a spectacle, you know. And I remember us all standing there and feeling something really special, especially Pope John Paul. There was something so special about him. He was a real celebrity, he was. He reminded me at the time of, of Marilyn Brando in Superman, you know, you know when he played Superman's father, Joris, I remember that, and I remember thinking her at the time as well, I remember thinking, what a lovely man, and I remember getting a real tingle, you know, and I tell you something else, I wasn't the only woman in Ireland who felt that tingle, oh no. Because nine months later, all over the land of Ireland, there was little baby boys being born, and their names were John Paul. So that's it. That's a little taste of Dublin, and I'll be back with more. All right? God bless. Talk to you later.